Another one of the big takeaways from it then is that this behavior goes unnoticed or tolerated because no one does anything, no one stands up for them and it usually comes from the top as well. So it's really important to stamp out that type of behavior before it becomes embedded and part of the culture. So if you're noticing these kinds of things happening, whether it's people are just being unkind to each other or disrespectful, you need to stamp it out immediately if you see those kinds of things happening. The other thing I think worth mentioning is that it's never too late that if things have gone too far, but you recognize that they've gone too far and you can do something about it, then know that you still have time to make changes that you need to make and you can actually do something about it. So it's not a case of all is lost forever and you have to leave. Now, there's two ways of thinking about being in that type of toxic environment. And I, I, I saw this from Zach Mercurio, who is my next week's guest. Uh, he, I saw this on a post of his on LinkedIn and it really resonated. So he, what he said was, if everyone leaves those toxic work environments, they won't have anyone to fix the culture, essentially. So they'll just kind of be, be left to fester. So we need people to stay in those cultures and to make those changes to really stand up for what's right now. Previously, I would have always assumed that the best thing is for people to vote with their feet and to get out of those organizations and not to stay there. And therefore, the business probably will lose profitability. They won't have people to work there and therefore they will essentially go out of business. But I really like that approach that that Zach has. It's a real challenge to the way people typically think about work. 